Many times we are asked if Lauren's case is, a, is listed as a cold case. The answer to that is an unequivocal no. Tomorrow marks a heartbreaking milestone in the case of missing IU student Lauren Spearer. It's been 10 years since she disappeared. It's hard to believe, mm -hmm. you know, it's a difficult time for the Bloomington community and Bloomington police say that they have received more than 3600 tips since that time and they have executed 10 search warrants just in the past three years. Of course, Lauren's parents are devastated and they have not given up their hope either. Tonight, our Jenny Runovich talks to a woman who's been fighting for justice on the Spears behalf for a decade. For 10 years, her face, her story has been seared into our memories. Lauren Spear, the 20 year old IU sophomore who vanished after a night out with friends in Bloomington, a high profile mystery that remains unsolved. Lauren feels like all of us, right? She, she's me, she's your daughter. She's my best friend from college. She's my little sister. I think it's just terrifying to think something like this can happen in a small town. And I think it's even more terrifying that we don't have the answers today that we need. For 10 years, Kristen Getterman has been helping to seek those answers on social media. She stayed anonymous until now, the voice behind this Twitter campaign. It grew, at its greatest, it grew to 25,000. Today, 10 years later, it's a little over 19,000. We got, you know, folks like Kim Kardashian and Ryan Seacrest and the major news outlets to retweet that information. And that was critical to the story um, because it, it did spread like wildfire because of the interest of Lauren. Like many people, Kristen learned about Lauren scrolling through social media the day after the IU sophomore disappeared. She saw a video of Rob and Charlene Spear calling out Lauren's name in the woods. What we can't deal with is what we don't know. And I think just hearing, you know, their desperation and their voice alone in those woods really was truly haunting to me. I just thought I need to stop and figure out a way to help this family as quickly as I can. She didn't know the Spearer family didn't even live in Bloomington. But Kristen's family went to IU, so she treated this disappearance personally, joining those heart-wrenching searches, retracing Lauren's steps, asking for help on Twitter. I started, you know, tweeting out Lauren's picture, information about what had happened. I created the hashtag Find Lauren um, and really thought it was something that would last maybe 48 hours until they found her. It's lasted much longer. Over the years, Kristen has become like family to the Spears, and this account has generated thousands of shares, offers from searchers and psychics, hundreds of leads. Bloomington police used some too, but here's all we know after a decade. Lauren was out with her friends uh, that evening, um, stopping at a, a couple of different places, including a bar and then a friend's apartment and landed at another sort of small house party very late into the evening and um, left for her apartment around 4 a.m. She walked to the corner of 11th and College and was never seen again. Kristen doesn't have any theories of what really happened to Lauren, but she's certain someone knows. Some way, somehow, I believe that truth will come out. Someone can't live with this forever. It will just be a matter of time. And she pledges to keep sharing Lauren's story until she's found. I'll be forever an advocate for Lauren and the Spear family. They deserve answers and, and Lauren deserves that justice. Lauren's parents are obviously just as committed as day one to finding their daughter. The FBI is still working the case too. If you can help, they desperately want to hear from you. We have links on how you can share those tips on WTHR.com.